Hey folks, Nikki Witherspoon here, AKA the FBA Ninja. I want to throw a few quick tips your way on how to prep for quarter four. Now you might be saying, it's still February. Why are you talking about quarter four? Guys, you're going to be surprised how quickly it comes around. So tip number one, review your previous years or months of selling history. All right. This is probably the easiest thing that you can do just to get some quick information on what's been selling, what's not been selling, so on and so forth. Keep track of your hot sellers throughout the year. Take notes on them, put little stars by them, do whatever you need to do because what ends up happening is during quarter four, those hot sellers get even more popular, all right? Take Hatchimals, for instance. This past year, people had Hatchimals here and there. Nobody really cared about them until it got right down to like November and December and then people just lost their minds completely. It's never too early to stock up. What happens directly after Christmas on December 26th? Everything for Christmas literally goes on sale half off. And if you wait an additional week, it's like 75% off. Guys, that's the perfect opportunity for you to grab some of that stuff, put it in a closet, put it in your garage, put it wherever you need to, under the bed. I don't care where you put it. Send your inventory in early. Don't be like the masses of sellers out there sending inventory like crazy at the end of November. No, guys, quarter four is jam packed with all types of holidays and seasons and all kind of stuff. Make sure that you're, you know, prepared for that and you're getting your inventory in there with enough time for Amazon to process it, for them to send it wherever they're going to send it and for your items to be ready to go. This is probably the best thing I can tell you. Keep notes of your lessons learned for next year. Guys, e-commerce is not a one-time thing. This is something that you're going to be able to experience year after year after year. And guess what? You're going to be able to take those lessons that you've learned from the sales that you've made in 2015 and 16 and 17 and 18 and so on and so forth and apply them to future years. Apply that stuff and just rock it out even more next year. <music>